we've been seeing these balls floating around on the floor in various colors throughout uh, digital experience. And apparently you're responsible. You're the man with the balls. So tell us a little bit about Sphero and uh, what it is and what it does and how it works. So Sphero is a robotic ball. It's pretty special because it's, a, it's unstable at all times. And so what we've done is we've built a control system that fuses an accelerometer and a gyro so that we can determine Sphero's position in three-dimensional space. And then we uh, take that data and then we apply it to the control system so Sphero is always balancing himself inside the ball. And that's what allows us to drive him straight and turn around and come back and maintain a heading. So a little navigation system inside, inside the ball. And you're controlling it using your iPhone? That's correct. It's, uh, it's controlled from either an iPhone or an Android. And we have a completely open SDK for anyone that wants to write their own apps and control their own robot balls. And what would you do with a robot ball, apart from sort of make it go around in circles? I mean, you said people can do their own apps. How do you foresee people using these balls? Well, first of all, they're a lot of fun, right? So just driving a ball around is kind of fun. Um, but we have, we have a bunch of different app ideas that you know, would maybe not be as much fun, but might be a little bit more practical. Since um, it does have an IMU, you can kind of track your position as you walk around. You know, what direction am I heading, turning, am I going up, am I going down? Uh, we've designed it to actually become a controller. So we have some apps where you can hold the ball in your hand and control what's going on on your phone. Um, and you can also write apps that connect to your PC or Mac as well, since it's just a standard Bluetooth serial connection. It could be a sort of a seeing eye dog for someone. It could sort of roll in front of them and tell them where they're going and don't walk into the wall and if I lose my contact lenses. Sure, if you want to uh, hack in a camera or something like that, we, it, it can do all kinds of crazy things. Um, you know, it could be a three-dimensional mouse, right? Zoom in, zoom out, go left, go right. But you know, in terms of robotic activity, uh, it's actually a really cool platform for doing any sort of augmented reality apps. A ball is um, a fairly easy object to detect uh, in terms of image recognition. So you could detect the ball moving around on the floor, and you can develop some really cool augmented reality apps, especially since you can control the color of it. Uh, and so as we look at apps that will grow from this, not only do we think we make games, but we think there'll be a lot of augmented reality, a lot of tracking applications, a lot of applications where the ball is actually at being, being uh, a controller for some device. Well, thank you so much for showing us your ball. My, my pleasure. Always happy to show my Sphero to people.